All right, I'm going to show you how to make a pitcher's balance beam here to work on staying balanced, driving straight to the plate. Uh, I'm going to build mine on a on an incline or a decline, if you will. Uh, most, a lot of guys I see are making them flat, but I want to really work uh, as if we were working on the mound. So what you're going to need is um, oh, <clears throat> uh, one by one by four, two by four. And a one by six. This is just a one by six by six uh, number two pine. Skill saw, some nails, and a hammer. All right, I'm gonna take my two by four and cut. I need three pieces of it. Uh, I don't know, about two feet apart. I'm just gonna cut three pieces out. I'm just gonna eye it up and then put them put them on top of each. No off. Need new saw. Need new blade. And then you can just take your after your first piece. If you eyed it up like I did, you can just put it there. And get you a mark over here for your second and your third. those out. Alright, so I got my three pieces of two by four uh, cut, just eyed it up at two feet, measuring them out together. Now I'm going to take my one by four and get the same measurement. I need three of these as well. So I'm going to get the measurement here, cut three of these out. Alright, so now I got my pieces of 1x4, and I got my pieces of 2x4, and I got my 1x6x6. By six by six. Now we put it together. First, we gotta put two of these, two of these 1x's together, 1x4's one uh, one together. Or if you got an extra piece of two by four, you can do that. Next, I got a two by four on top of that. The only reason I put those together is because my nails aren't long enough. There right, you go, the back piece. Could measure this up here on the sides here if you want to get it all fancy. I just like eyeballing it. So we got the back there. I'm gonna do the front right on the end. Again, I'm gonna eye it up. Here we go. I'm gonna put these last two together, last two pieces together, put these in the middle. I'm just gonna find where this works out best to where it touches and takes off the most pressure. I'm gonna say right about there. Nail it in.
balance beam, you're catching a balance beam, a little bit higher in the back, lower in the front. So it's like we're on a we're on a uh, a mount. Okay. And I'll show you a uh, video on how to use this thing. This thing can hold me. It can hold anyone. I'm about 265 right now. Yeah. Number two five ain't too bad. You can put more reinforcements if you feel like it. I didn't like the way it came out. It was a little flimsy, so I'm going to add a few more pieces. Another one by six by six, and a couple of pieces underneath, uh, make it a little more sturdy. So I'll show you when I'm done. Now I'm talking. 